economic education, including financial literacy, it makes you, it gives you the knowledge to make good and reasonable financial and economic decisions as an individual or as a business person. Later on, it also gives you skills to manage your personal finance. It also gives you knowledge to assess the, the decisions by the central bank. So I think economic education is important for central banks because uh, a more economically uh, literate population helps the economy and it helps central banks uh, in their role uh, in uh, promoting the financial and economic welfare of, of society. What we uh, learn here is that financial education is very difficult and is very costly. So you have to put a great effort to obtain results, results that can last because financial education is a long run process. So one reason is uh, uh, a more educated population uh, can help uh, reinforce well-anchored inflation expectations. Um, uh, you know, more economic understanding can lead to s trust in the central bank um, and can um, support monetary policy credibility. So for a number of reasons, I think it's important that central banks invest in economic education. The pressing challenge for central banks today is to adapt their oft complex uh, and expert language to the way that uh, ordinary people speak. So they need to follow the ABC of uh, good central bank communication and education, which is to amuse, use gamification, edutainment, uh, B, to boost confidence, to boost knowledge and understanding, and C, to converse, to create a dialogue and to engage with the audiences via plain language, via tactics that capture the attention of the audiences.